Inner Family. This series is What's in My Drawers. And get your mind out the gutter, not those drawers. My plastic drawers that I put all of my stuff in. So I'm gonna put the links to the other two videos in the description box below. Make sure you check out the others. Now, let's get into them drawers. Okay, so this is my first set of drawers which live behind my driver's seat. And I'm actually going to start with what's on top of these as well. So I want to show you I have my new dish drainer. And what I've decided to do in, with this dish drainer, I'll stand up and show you. These compartments are made for the silverware. But because I don't have a ton of silverware, I decided to put my Dr. Bronner's soaps that I use quite regularly in the first two. I have the peppermint and the tea tree. And I used a small glass container that someone had given me some food in, a little mason jar, and that's where I put the silverware to dry. And then in the second one, I use an old um, water bottle, or I think it was a Gatorade bottle, the skinny tall ones that you get at Dollar Tree. And I put my toothbrush in there and I put a little baby um, lighter that's almost empty in there. And then the clean dishes go in the rest of it. And then next to that, I have a slim Dollar Tree tray that has my body washing up spray and a mesh, a mesh, um, pencil holder with my scissors and some other things in it and then another Dollar Tree bin with my vinegars, my hot sauce, and my oil and another Dr. Bronner type soap even though this is the Walmart brand which is just as good. It's still the Castile soap. This is the lavender and those things stay in there. And there's one thin black bungee cord that goes across the whole entire thing and secured across the whole thing. I have been driving with this and it doesn't go anywhere. So this set of drawers, the very first drawer, so they're, first let me explain how they're held. They're held with this extra thick bungee cord which is drilled with an L hook into the wood of the van on both sides. So that's how they're secured. So let's move on to what is in the very top drawer. This set of drawers is probably the one I access the most because this is the most of my food. I do have some food in my second set of drawers that you'll see, but that's like overflow and that's like um, in case of an emergency or you don't have money, like backup food, mostly canned goods. So this top drawer has my reusable paper towels, my bamboo paper towels, and I will put a link um, below to my Amazon influencer store where you can find those um, in that store. So I cut some up to use as dishcloths for washing dishes. Uh, I have a cork here, a reusable cork for any wine bottles that I don't finish, and I have a collapsible little funnel. I've got some lighters, Dollar Tree type lighters. I have um, this pasta drainer for draining pasta out of my um, pan. And then I've got some other odds and ends and some other lighters. These were just gifted to me recently, so I thank you for that gift. So that's the top drawer. And I try and make sure to keep it tucked under this lip if I can. Now the second drawer, I always have to move the bungee to access, so it doesn't have stuff in it that I need to get to all the time. So um, I just pull the bungee down to the third drawer when I need to open up the second drawer. And the second drawer has um, paper plates, which I don't use very often, that's why I have so many. But the main thing that's here are my seasonings so and some of my condiments. You know, honey mustard, regular mustard, ketchup, I've got some sea salt, some uh, arrowroot powder, my honey, some Parmesan cheese, some minced onion, that kind of stuff. I also have my collapsible um, cups, measuring cups, and my flat, flatter measuring 
spoons. And these are some ketchup and mustards from different restaurants and even some of my Cholula hot sauce packets in there. And heavy duty foil for cooking on the fire. Love making hobo packets on the fire. And paper plates just kind of sit on top of all that. So because I don't cook a lot, or I try not to cook a lot, I end up not using that drawer very, very often. Okay, so the third drawer is the first of the big drawers. If you notice, I have two small drawers, two slim drawers, and then three really large drawers. So the third drawer is the first of the big ones. Um, you also can notice that I use some of the shelf liner, the rubbery shelf liner in the front of all the drawers so that I wouldn't see all the multiple colors and multiple items inside the drawer. And all I did was tape them with some clear tape at the top. And I'm, I'm kind of replacing that here and there as it's coming, um, the stickiness is wearing off, but I'd rather have that look um, than, than uh, you know, seeing all the items that are in there. It just gives me more of a feng shui kind of look. I have considered painting this, so maybe this summer that might be a project, pull all the drawers out and empty them and paint the fronts. So we'll see, maybe. So let's go into the third drawer. The third drawer is mostly my breakfast stuff. So you'll see I have my oatmeal and craisins and my granola. Unfortunately, I couldn't, didn't have the money to get my normal granola, so I'm trying this one out. And it's not great, but it's not the worst I've ever had. Um, I always keep halos or cuties because they are a big, big, big snack around here everyone buys them we're constantly sharing them and giving them and eating them around the campfire eating them while we're sitting outside chilling um, in this little container which is a Dollar Tree container I've got some homemade uh, jams that's that were, that were made for me thanks sugar I've got some Walmart cookie butter which is so delicious on a toasted bagel and I've got mini bagels in my tea stash game has been upgraded you'll find out more about that in another video so this is mostly like the breakfast food drawer so if I get any other fruit I usually just stick it in here as well like bananas or apples or what have you so that's the breakfast drawer for the most part this fourth drawer is like the stuff you would cook or eat for lunch or dinner type stuff um, I do have some protein powder organic protein powder. I've got some rice and quinoa. I've got crackers in there that I would eat with my sardines. Uh, I've got some canned chicken that was canned for me. Thanks again, sugar. That was my last can of, she canned me a lot of chicken and beans and beans and chicken together and um, all kinds of things. So this is my last jar of food food. And then I have the two jars of the um, preserves. I'm sorry if you hear the fan in the background. It is really warm, so I have to have the fan on. So I've got some pouches of uh, tuna here that were gifted to me. Thank you so much. I also have these delicious Indian vegetarian meals, which are so delicious. And you just I just boiled this whole bag in my pot of water. Boil it for about, I don't know, five minutes or so and stir it every couple of um, minutes and you just put it over some rice and you're done. I love this. So I have different flavors of these. As you can see, I have the Punjab potatoes down there. Um, different ones, I have the mushroom masala. So these are so delicious meals. I love buying these. I recently got some pasta, more rice and quinoa, and two pasta sauces. These are my favorite two pasta sauces, chunky garden vegetable and vodka sauce my two favorites the last drawer in this bank of drawers is the, the dishes and pots and pan type situation and some overflow so the small red container here dollar tree container it has a new um zesty italian i get these at the dollar store i always buy two at a time and it also has two teriyaki sauces and marinades. I buy these two at a time as well. They're also at the dollar store. And it has a Dawn dish detergent, which I don't use very often, but sometimes you have something greasy enough that you need to break out the Dawn. So, 
these are my pots and pans this is not a dirty dish it is very clean it's just because when I use the vinegar it has a residue on it when I use the vinegar and the um, baking soda it doesn't rinse super super clean but it's a clean dish very clean I can't feel any greasy on it anyway I have a pan with the lid a small pan with the lid that I got at a thrift shop and I have a collapsible pot and I don't know how many quarts that is I should look that up I guess I don't know but this collapsible pot is in my Amazon store which is linked in the description box below I also have my hot logic mini here this is a way for me to warm up any leftovers so if I cook dinner tonight and I want to have it again for lunch tomorrow I don't have to break out my pot or my pan I can just plug this up in about 30 minutes or so before I'm ready to eat and it'll warm up and then back here I've got some plastic ware and some ceramic dishes like my ceramic bowl, some little containers, some other containers. And recently Miss V bought me some wine glasses. So I got rid of the plastic wine glass because it wouldn't fit in any of my drawers. And so she bought these. She bought herself a set, she bought me a set, and I think she bought somebody else a set here in camp. So yeah, so I have a red and a white one. Um, I usually drink out the red one of course, but a guest can have the white one if they want. And they come with straws, although I don't use straws, but I could use the straws in a different cup if I was drinking juice or something like that. So that is what's in my first set of drawers. I hope you enjoy today's Daily Dose.